and you're gonna have to do it soon. You talk to him, Trap. Okay, I'll give it a try. How's your back? Any better? Oh, much better. Huh. Yeah, exercises must be helping, huh? Mm -hmm. mm, what kind of exercises? Aerobics, yoga? <clears throat> ballet. Mm. Ballet. As in ballet. Mm -hmm. You know, I took some ballet. Port de bras will improve your pitching. Oh, for sure. Mm. Port de bras. Uh, arm exercises. Yeah, like this, Gonzo. I'll show you. The port de bras. Grand pied. You do this stuff? Oh, sure. Grand battement. Very good. That too? Well, that comes next week. That's <laughs> great, Gloria. <laughs> Thank you. If you need any help, just give me a call. Hmm? Ah. <laughs> Ah, oh, bravo, bravo, bravo. I take it ballet is not your thing. Uh, no, uh, not really. Sure I can't persuade you to join me? No, no way. Yes, well, it is tough. Being in a room full of gorgeous women in leotards, and us, the only two men. Oh? Oh? Hi, Jackpot. Hi, Melissa. Melissa! Melissa. How's that cooking class of yours coming along? It's great. Huh? Bet you've been uh, cooking up a lot of fancy stuff. I'm coming along. Mm -hmm. Bet you've been uh, serving it to some pretty special person. You're right, I have. <laughs> well, I just want you to know that that special person ate every last bite, and it was delicious. He did? Mm -hmm. How do you know? Come on, Melissa. I didn't know you knew Roy. Roy? Who's Roy? The man I'm engaged to. Come in. Uh, you wanted to see us, Doc? Sure, come on and sit down. Dr. Gates tells me that um, you still haven't made a decision about your baby. Oh, come on. Get off my case, will you? The decision has been made, and bringing me here is not going to change my mind about it. Come on, Andy, calm down. I know this is a very difficult adjustment for you. How do you know? Part of my job. We see kids like Andy Jr. three, four times a year. I see what the parents go through. Oh, there can't be that many. 2,000 cases a year in this country alone. Okay, okay, go. You're trying to make us feel better. I certainly hope so. I'm also trying to get you to move on this. We're, we're caught on a time lock here. Andy Jr. is, what, 17 months old, right? And the longer we wait, the more difficult it's going to be for all of you. Well, it's just that I don't think we will. Really... The decision has been made. We're going to go for the boy. Now, just a minute, Andy. I have something to say about this. You two don't seem to understand something. If I'd have had a girl from the beginning, it would have been different. But Andy Jr. has been brought up as a boy. He's been dressed as a boy. He's been given boy toys. The whole shot. I mean, it's tough. I, uh... I can understand how you feel, Andy. Like losing a part of yourself. I'm not thinking about myself. I'm trying to do what is best for my kid. Okay, Andy. Let's talk about what is best for this baby. Dr. McIntyre, tell him. Bottom line, it would be best if your child were brought up as a girl. But only if both of you can agree on it. 
bottom line, huh? I gotta get back to work. Yes, I do appreciate your discretion, but I have to know who sent those roses. Yeah. Hey, I won't tell if you won't. Please, sir, my peace of mind is at stake here. May a squadron of snails slime up your address. Jackpot. Oh, Ernie, great, you got it, thank you. You can credit Brancusi and Clover with some assists. Mm. Here, put these up. I am going to do a handwriting comparison. <laughs> but of course. Yes, let's see here. You know, women have been known to drive men out of their minds, but I am not going to lose mine without finding out who's responsible. What are you marking? A group. A, if you can't fly with the eagle, get out of the sky. All right, here. Let's see. Down there, well, nothing seems to be matching here. Letters all too cutesy, too messy, too petite. Look, look at the letters on this love note, Ernie. Look, look at that T. It's flared out and bold. A woman of chats. A terrific lady. Or just a tease. Nah, uh-uh, mm-mm, mm-mm. Wait a, wait a second, wait a second. Hold on. Th that's it. Score it. Look at that. Look, the flared out T, the E. Well, what do you know? Congratulations, Jackpot. Do you, do you know who this is? Jean de Merlier? You, you know who that is? Blonde? Brunette? Brunette. Brown eyes. Very attractive. Excuse me, Ernie. I have a date with destiny. Uh, just a minute, Jackpot. Just a little advice. Take it slow with Jean. Uh, oh, those Frenchmen, they love to be courted. Frenchmen? Men. Jean? Jean, like in Jean-Claude. Oh, but you could still be right. You know, I should have trusted my first instincts. I was looking at this Claire here. We, we don't have any men named Claire, do we? Andy. Not now. We've got to talk. There's nothing to talk about. Okay? You don't want to talk? Fine. Well, the decision's been made. Our baby is going to have that operation. And you know exactly which operation that's going to be. Wait a minute, Jeanette. You don't make that kind of decision without me. I'm the father. Well, in case you've forgotten, I am the mother. And I am making this decision because you can't seem to think straight anymore. You don't listen to anyone. You just hear what you want to hear. Since when do you talk to me like this? I am going to do what's best for our baby. I am not going to let you hurt that child because you have a problem in your head. You calling me crazy? I'm calling you selfish and stubborn and pig at it. Go ahead, Andy. Do it. Well, that'll solve everything, won't it? Go on. Go on. Show me what a big man you really are. But don't you expect it to change my mind? Dr. McIntyre? Oh, good morning. I I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I I've got to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> Do you mind if I close the door? Oh, sure. Go ahead. I don't know what to do. Andy walked out last night, and he never came back. He's never done this before. Never. I guess I did it all wrong. What'd you do? Well, I made the decision for us. 